right, uh, my next guests, everybody, are single moms who came to me last season for help with their teenage sons. Take a look. So how bad have things gotten? He's always mad at everybody. He's not listening. He puts holes in the walls and in the doors. We fix one thing, and he breaks another. He's a little punk kid. You should hear some of the things he calls my mom. He always is dropping the bomb. He refers to her as the B word in text message, and it's not OK. Jail's a tough spot, ma'am, but if, if we continue with the behavior, then that's where we're going to go. Tell me about your boys. Well, um, I have Austin and Griffin. They are 14-year-old. They fight, curse, swear at me, destroy my house. They've stolen money from my purse. They have taken credit cards from my purse. When you hear, go die in a hole, what do you do with that? So you know this is messed up. Yeah. But you do it anyway. This is not your mother's fault. It's not your mother's fault that she can't afford everything. You act like boys. This is not how young men behave. I've, I've met these mothers and their boys, and I promised them a trip to my ranch out in Dallas for our mentoring weekend. Well, the, the camp is for fatherless boys, and the goal is to do just two things. I teach young men the principles of manhood, what real men really do, Real men honor women. Real men respect the law. Real men take care of their kids. Real men have jobs. You know, just stuff that's out there that's not taught to these boys nowadays. And then I just teach them about dreaming. Well, it's really a great experience for these boys and their mothers. And so I'm going to give you just a short glimpse of how, it, how the weekend started and some of the progression that was made. Get off my butt! You wanna run? Get off my butt! Well, it's some tough love going on, but it's some kids that's gotta understand what discipline is. I brought my boys to this camp just because their anger and their behavior is is very difficult. They get mad and they tear their house up. Now you're here. You can't cry. You can't call mama. You oh, yeah, mama no gone. I brought my son onto the show because he has no male guidance. All right, I know you're crazy, but everything gonna work out for you. Some young men get with the program right off the bat. They want to change. Others, you know, are not out here of their own free will. Their mothers want them to change. You mad at me? Oh, you mad at me? I'm kind of afraid of what comes next. Wake up, wake up, wake up! Are you gonna stay off the bump? Let's go! Y'all not moving fast enough! Grab your stuff and get up out of here! I went to the drill, son, on my knees! Facing me, I'm motivated. We woke up at 4.30, brush our teeth, and did a workout. Open your mouth! Act like you part of this group! Three, four, two! I think they do this to, because uh, I don't, actually don't know why they do it. Being a single mom, being alone, trying to do everything, it's, it's hard. The programming that my daughter Brandy has created for the mothers is to give them some of the tools to better handle these boys. What I've gotten from this so far is that I'm not alone. And I'm here with 99 other women who we're all dealing with this struggle. You've got to know your kids. They're not the same at 6 and 16. I had no idea, really, that there was this much for the moms. I'm learning what I need to do here. He's learning what he needs to do there. So when we go home, we can work on it together. I am excited. At the same time, I'm scared. The male role model of an example is what's missing in these young men's lives. We're going to teach you the principles of manhood. Look at me when I'm talking to you. We're going to teach every last one of you how to become whatever it is you want to be. I don't see anything good if, they, if things don't change for all of us. Joining me now are the single moms, Tina and Tracy. Uh, tell me, ladies, uh, what was the camp experience like for you? Well, first of all, I had no idea that it was going to be as awesome as it was. Um, your daughters, Brandy and Carly, mm -hmm. were incredible. 
Um, one thing that really stood out to me was um, one of the afternoons, Brandy came in and had us all stand around. We all held hands and we prayed. And I really felt the presence of God and just the, just the support and everything from everybody. It was overwhelming. Mm. Yeah, support is right. I mean, to sit in that room with 100 women, it's just, it, it was healing for me because you really see I'm, I'm not alone and I'm, mm. I, I can get through this. See, and the reason that we started the program for women also was because we knew that women were dealing with uh, something that they weren't planning on being faced with. They're single moms raising a boy. That right there is crazy to dump in a woman's lap. You're asking a woman who has never been a man to guide her son into manhood. You can't imagine how daunting of a challenge that is. And we understand that. So thus was the program, and my daughters run that program, and they bring in keynote speakers. And, you know, I really appreciate you all allowing me, you know, the opportunity to take your boys. And we get a lot done in a week with these boys. Now, we're just getting started. Uh, Griffin, Austin, and Mark had more challenges ahead. Uh, plus, the boys are here. So we're going to find out how they're doing next. Uh, we're back checking in on some former guests that we've had on the show. Now, last season, I invited teenagers Griffin, Austin, and Mark to attend my mentoring camp for fatherless boys. Uh, here's part two of their journey. Yo, yo, yo. Do you know how many days you're going to be exhausted as a man. Some of these boys are under the misconception that life comes without consequences, and it's not true. Now get your arms up. It feels good to really work hard. Uh, woo! There we go. Still easy, right? Pull up. Come on! I'm feeling good about the camp because we get to learn from all these speakers. The second thing you want to do is to give eye contact. I'm doing something I wanted to do forever, was play football. It's nice to have some male role model all my life. What we've tried to change in your boy is misguided information that they have about manhood. I've learned a lot, a lot this week. Just the speakers and the support was unbelievable. When a father is missing, there's a hole in his soul, a cutout, the shape of his father. Just to have somebody say you could do it and make you see where your mistakes are is just more than words can even say. At the beginning, I hated it because of PT, but I don't know, I'm starting to like it now. It's nice being around these other kids because they basically have the same story that I do. My confidence has really built up since I got here. It feels good acting like a man. Are you I decided to write my father a letter. For me, this was my way of getting it out. I want you to take some time to write a letter to your father. As I was writing that, like, I just felt his presence there. And I just felt it just lift off. I saw what other people had to go through, and they still forgive their dads. So I thought I could try, too. There's a lot of people that's going through the same thing. It feels pretty good. I don't feel as alone. The majority of these kids don't want the week to end. The minute I saw him, I started crying. He was walked up like he had confidence. I'll be honest, they did not want to come, and I think they've gotten a lot from it, and I think that they've just done wonderful. I'm just so proud of him for wanting to come here and wanting to change. If you don't learn nothing from this camp except be the man your father ain't been to you, how about that? Let him see what he missed. Show him what you made of yourself, because you can do it, all right? I feel like I'm going to walk away from this camp with a lot of knowledge that will really help me grow. Anybody ain't heard the words, I love you? We do. It's because we do. I've always known I had to be a man, but at this camp, I learned how to be a man. I love y'all. Thank you very much. This camp is a life-changing experience that we couldn't live without.
Well, uh, Griffin, Austin, and Mark are here joining their moms, uh, Tina and Tracy. Boys, let me ask you, what, what was the biggest lesson you learned at the camp? Well, Mr. Harvey, I just wanted to let you know how much we appreciate you uh, bringing us to your camp and that I learned that, that all you need is a little bit of ambition and a dream and you can take yourself farther than I would have ever expected me to take myself. Mm -hmm. As Mark said, thank you for giving us the opportunity to come to your ranch. And the biggest thing that I got from you was you have to be a man at the house. Me being the oldest, he, I'm pretty sure he follows what I do. So if I stand up for her and help her through, I think he will too. And that's just what we need to start doing. Thanks again, Mr. Harvey, for taking us to your ranch. What I learned is about my anger and how to better control it. You said about setting goals. And I want to join the Army. I want to go to college, and I want to eventually become a police officer. So tell me something, moms. What, 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 what have you seen in your boys since the camp? Well, first, he's not getting in trouble in school. <laughs> that was, like, huge. Um, he, I, I feel like, like a, a weight was lifted off of me. Because, I mean, a parent is always going to worry about their child. But now I don't have to worry, is he going to go to jail or is he going to be dead? Because that was my fear last yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah, and wow, I mean, these are two completely different kids that came home with me. And um, happy kids, which this little boy here, who I have not seen smile for probably a year, I see him smile all the time. Griffin had anger, it, you mentioned it. It's, it's unbelievable. And I'm, the, the grades, I mean, both of them are sitting almost straight A's. And I want to thank you because you have made my life and their life a thousand times better. I, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Let me, let, let me share something with you about our technique. It's very simple. When you impart the dream to a boy, the dream will drive you and cause you to get an education. So we focus on the dream. Then after that, we don't do talk about nothing about what men do. That's all we doing. And we destroy the myths of videos that you got to have a girl or a car or a chain or some rims or you got to rap. They ain't got nothing to do with manhood. And when we give you your son back, we give you a different person because we change their mindset. And I, I think that that's what this camp does for these boys. And that's, I love these conversations. I love to see women whose life have become easier because their boys get it now. And I'm very proud of these cats, man. They, very, they really made a change. Now, uh, ladies, I know it's not easy being a single mom, so I wanted to do something else to kind of help you out a little bit. You know, I'm a spokesman for a company called Green Dot. And uh, we're going to be giving each one of you $5,000 on the Green Dot Reloadable Prepaid card. <laughs> so each one of you get $5,000 on the prepaid. I, I really want you all to take this and do whatever you need to do. Thank you. And thank you all for entrusting your boys with us. Thank, thank you very you. much. I want to say thanks to Tina and Tracy and the boys. Good luck to you. Remember what we taught you. Be well. Uh, for more information on Green Dot and my mentoring camp, just go to steveharveytv.com. We'll be right back, folks.